Hey, what's going on guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. And today we're gonna to be doing a little experimentation. We have a bunch of chicken wings upstairs that we're uh, gonna leave whole. We're not gonna separate the flat from the drumettes or remove the tips. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hang our chicken wings on this King Cooker Rack, okay? This is not a sponsored video. This is not a paid promotion. I bought this chicken rack last year. And the only thing we've ever used it for was hanging uh, drumsticks on. Now the other day I did an experimentation and I hung chicken wings on here too because it's supposed to be uh, used for hanging chicken wings also. And then the difference in the chicken wings were that these the chicken wings I hung up on this rack here came out much, much crispier than any chicken wings I've gotten out of my pellet smoker before, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take half our chicken wings, we're gonna hang them on this rack, we're gonna take the other half, and we're gonna lay them on our cooking mat in the smoker. We're gonna cook them all at the same temperature and the same time frame, and we're gonna see which ones come out crispier, and if this uh, king cooker rack is worth you buying to achieve crispy chicken wings, okay? All right, well, let's get the prep work underway. All right, guys, so we got our uh, chicken wings here. We got 10 chicken wings here. They've been cleaned and patted off and dried a little bit. I'm going to spray them down with some Pam just to give them a little olive type coating, but we always spray our chicken wings. Normally, I use um, normally I use olive Pam, I should say, but all I have is regular Pam, so that's what we're going to be using today. Let me get that little feather off there. Okay, and now we're gonna hit them with, with some rub. Now this is a uh, rub. It is uh, one tablespoon of kosher salt, one tablespoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of brown sugar, and uh, one and a half tablespoons, or I should say a half a tablespoon of uh, chili powder. Okay, so I'm gonna hit these up pretty liberal. And we already have the uh, Rectech 700 uh, out on the deck, uh, preheating to an internal temperature of 275 degrees. And uh, the plan is to cook these at 275 degrees for the first hour. And then we're gonna crank them up to 300 degrees for the last hour until they're done, okay? All right, we're done. Let's go ahead and get these bad boys racked up. All right, guys, so now that we've got our chicken wings all seasoned, we're going to go ahead and hang them. And they fit underneath the middle bar and into each groove slot. Now, the thing about this is in order to use this rack, your chicken wings have to have the tips still on them. So just remember that because we have a couple of chicken wings here that uh, don't have the tips on. We're going to have to use those on the mat. All right, so this is ready for the cooker. Let's head on out to the deck. All right, guys, so we're out here. I hit the rec tech, and hopefully you can hear me because it's kind of windy out here, and I don't have the, the wind guard on the mic. So we'll go ahead and lay these six wings on our mat like we would normally do. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and put our chicken wings on the rack in here, like so. All right, that's it. Let's see which set of wings come out the crispiest. All right, guys, so it's been two hours now. First hour at 275 degrees and the second hour at 300 degrees so let's go ahead and temp these and see uh what the temperature is so these at 209 and these at 212 all right so let's go ahead and take them off Give them a few minutes to rest and we'll go ahead and test the, uh, the crispiness of the skin. 
All right, guys, so we're done with our little experiment here. We got 12 chicken wings here. We got the six that are hanging on the rack, and then we got the six that were laying on the mat, okay? Uh, before we go ahead and taste test, let me go ahead and give you a close-up look at these. All right, guys, so here's a close-up look at the chicken wings. Here are the ones that are hanging on the rack. They look fantastic. And here are the ones that were cooked on the cooking mat. Uh, both of the skins of both groups of chicken look pretty tight, so I'm interested in seeing if there's any difference in between the two. All right, let's have a taste test. All right, so we're gonna, tr gonna try the, the chicken that was cooked on the mat first. And the, the skin seems a little, still seems a little rubbery to me. Let's go ahead and have a bite. And smell, these smell great. This, the, the skin is sort of crispy in certain areas, but some of them, some of it is still a little rubbery. It's not that bite through crispiness that you look for, but these are some fantastic wings, but the skin is a little rubbery right here. So, I mean, these are some excellent wings, but we're looking for the crispiest wings. So let's go ahead and try the ones off the rack and let's see if that made any difference. Oh, these smell fantastic. Oh, I can hear the skin pop on these here. Yeah, these are definitely much, much crispier than the ones that was laying on the rack. All right, let's have a taste. Oh yeah, the ones that were hanging up have a much crispier skin than the ones that was laying flat. Now, the website on the... Uh, King Cooker Rack doesn't give any explanation for this. So there's only uh, a couple of things that I can ascertain that uh, one, the wings aren't laying down. So the fat from the wings are actually probably dripping off of the wings, then laying on top of the wings in certain areas, thereby providing for a crispier skin. Also, the rack kind of elevates the wings a little bit higher up in the um, pellet grill and as we know heat rises so the area um, above the grill itself where these would be residing is is probably a few degrees hotter than the ones that are laying down here on the mat but all in all this is a fantastic crispy chicken wing for this cooker rack okay all right well that's it I'll give you my final thoughts All right, guys, so if you're interested in getting one of these King Cooker racks, you can get it from Amazon or Home Depot uh, or any one of your hardware stores, even Walmart, okay? Uh, I went online today to see how much these were. Now, this was regularly about $15, $14.95, but Amazon currently has it on sale for $7.99, $7.99. Home Depot has it on sale for $8, and... Uh, even Sports Academy has it on sale for $7.99. Um, Walmart has it also, but Walmart has it listed at $18. So I would go to one of these other spots to get one if you really want one or order one off the line. Now, you don't have to get the King Cooker. Like I said before, this is not a sponsored video. We purchased this ourselves. Um, there are plenty of chicken racks out there that hold drumsticks and chicken wings, okay? Um, for example, um, Bayou Classics has one for $10.30 at Walmart, and it basically does the same thing. It allows you to hang your chicken uh, in order to get a crispier skin, okay? So, well, this has been a successful experiment. I guess I'll be using this rack uh, more and more um, for small batches of wings. I guess if I want to cook a bunch of wings this way, um, I'll have to get a couple of more racks, and I might buy one or two more racks since they're on sale right now. Uh, this will hold 12 wings at one time. Uh, the only problem I see with it is that the tips of the wings will cross over under the middle bar, but that's neither here nor there. If they all come out crispy, then they all come out crispy. Um, I mean, normally I cut my tips off of my chicken wings, but these tips on this rack here are so crispy, you can almost crunch on the, uh, the chicken tips, uh, the, the wing tips themselves. So, okay. 
Well, that's about it. Hey, thanks for joining us today. If you guys are interested in a Rectech pellet smoker, check out Rectech.com. They have some fantastic uh, smokers out there, okay? And uh, that's about it. So, hey, like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. Hey, as always, hey, we'll see you guys around the smoker.